my phone charger fracking melted. Yeah, this can happen. <laughs> there, there's a couple ways it can happen. This looks like a lightning cable. I'm not going to say if it's aftermarket or not, because even aftermarket cables should be able to handle uh, the whatever the current power delivery standard is for iPhone at 30 watt. I don't remember. Now, most of them have chips in them that, you know, tell the, the device what they support, etc. But some of them don't or some of them just lie. And then you can end up with fire hazards just right next to your head. This happened today. I wonder what would happen if I popped it, lol. Oh, oh, I made a whole video on what would happen if you popped it. But if you want a short answer, uh, fire and lithium poisoning. It'll definitely make your day more interesting. I didn't say how, but it will. Snapped micro SD card. Oh man, well, at least it's only 16 gigs. Hopefully there was nothing important on it. Just use one half and get eight gigabytes. One half says 16 gigabytes, so the other doesn't. No, 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 it works like, like dollar bills when you rip them in half, like it's worth half the value of something. This is not how a flash storage works. Samsung Z Flip 5. If you squint or have bad vision. So yeah, that, that looks like a Samsung Z Flip 5 to me. These batteries. Oh, they're frosty. It's like those iced oatmeal cookies, except absolutely not at all. They have been to hell and further and then back and then maybe to hell again. They got all the way back from hell and then realized they left their jacket in the hotel room. Kid got mad in tech class and threw it on the ground. Don't don't throw cake or or technology on the ground. Like it's it just doesn't do anything. Oh, it doesn't do anything productive. See, now you have a damaged CPU. I'm constantly reminded of just how like durable the boards are for CPUs. Cause like uh, chucking electronic against the ground at full full tilt only does that much. It is all the damage it needs. Like it is com like probably, you know, definitely completely broken, but you could use that for armor plating for something. I'm sure a hamster, I don't know. Hmm, yes, I, I would like this for a disc recovery. <laughs> <laughs> but can it recover my files? N no. What files? You have brought in silverware. Ticket says, I can't charge, and, and there are some lines in my screen. Did HP uh, hinges strike again? Or did you just take... I think you just took off the whole corner. I think that's too far over for the hinge. All right, I need to see it from the other side, but th that's that's a hell of a chunk of laptop missing. GPU died, then fixed itself whilst playing Minecraft. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, that's tra that actually looks way cooler than standard Minecraft. I will still no never understand from a computing perspective, like how, why Minecraft eats the resources it does. It's just wild to me when you're rendering less resolution than Lego. I don't know. That's just me. My mother's dog chewed on my laptop screen. Uh, y you know, that'll break it sometimes. Um, in case you hadn't noticed. Had a lot of confidence too, or just went right down the middle. Usually they go for the corners. I, I am sorry about your laptop. That really does suck. Flower keyboard. Were, were, were you making cookies? Were, were wait, what? What are you? What? Okay, all right, hang on. Bought a keyboard for my friend. Said he spilled flour on it. <laughs> Didn't specify the amount, just spilled some flour. Apparently he actually tried to use flour to make the sound better. To make the to make the sound better. What what possessed you to use a fine powdery substance on top of an electronic device that is not treated for dust resistance? To make it sound better. Look, I understand the whole keyboard sounding better. I I have custom keyboards. I understand, but I don't understand this. Anyways, I uh, spent an hour cleaning it from the outside when I found out about the inside. <laughs> oh, oh, so you were you were like, oh, it's finally like I got a decent deal, and then you opened the thing and we're like, dear God, what is this, Scarface? Imagine getting on a flight with this, and they select you to be searched. <laughs> Yeah, I was trying to be really, really careful about demonetization with the Scarface comment, but uh, yeah, pretty much. I feel bad for this cell phone. Okay, I can respect rocking a dumb phone, especially with the aggressiveness of apps just trying to harvest everything off your device. But but if you're rocking a, a dumb phone and you're holding it together with hair ties and it doesn't have a key, keypad anywhere, is it is it actually in use or is this just a wallet? Like, is this the, if this is just a wallet, I can almost respect that. But, but if it's a dumb phone, literally nine bucks. Guess which one is my daily? You rocking an SD card as a watch? How, how do you how do you read the the time time up in all seriousness? The bottom right watch is the one that has gore. Oh, there's actually a watch in there. I I thought that was just an empty like band with an SD card in it for some reason. The battery expanded. Oh no, while I was using it as a sleep tracker and the screen was pushed off enough for the cables to snap. Oh, no, 
annoyingly, the replacement battery arrived the exact same day. No, oh, I've done a bit of surgery to take out of the old cables and to put the new battery in. I've owned this watch for seven years so far. Okay, all right, that's pretty good. And I'm not letting it give up on me yet. Also, yes, the battery is plugged in and the watch is turned on. That's really impressive. Okay, so that's a that's a battery label. Okay. <laughs> They styled it after the SanDisk logo. The SanDisk Ultra one is black, gold, and red. And I use so many of those camera cards, like those cards in my cameras and all that stuff. So I just saw that and was like, oh, SanDisk Ultra. It's been one month. Oh, sorry. Uh, how long until my mom notices that the laptop is no longer a laptop? Well, if you get some tape, it'll be longer. Stop holding it like that. I'm giving away the secret. I accidentally dropped it. Well, most people don't drop it on per- Oh! You dropped a CPU and the other the other guy I would almost I was about to say you guys are the same guy, but no, the other one was turned down. Um I'm so sorry. This is way worse. This is way worse than the entitled brat that deserves a mayonnaise bath. Uh, yeah, this I'm so sorry. I'm oh is it is it hitting the contacts? Oh, just barely. I mean, at this point you have nothing to lose. You can try you can try you know, heat treat. I don't even know how to bend that. I just have never done it. You can try shoving it into the socket. Try try shoving it into a socket of a motherboard you don't like. And maybe? Just maybe it'll work? Probably not. But I'm still gonna cross my fingers for you. You know, I've seen some amazing things. How the hell does this still work? Amazes me. I say that on a daily basis. I genuinely, I just had a conversation with somebody about something that, like, it should not have worked. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is pretty good. Actually, you're not missing a lot here. You're missing the keyboard, which just looks bad. You're also missing something in the, uh, it's hard to tell, M.2? I can't tell if that's an M.2 or just a ribbon cable to something else, like the keyboard. <laughs> I do like your power. I'm guessing the power jack broke and you found another one that works and you heat shrunk and you know what? That works. How? I need answers. Daily, dude, these are just, oh my God. Oh, wow. Okay, all right, I'm with you. I'm with you. Holy hell. What happened? This is like car crash levels. Just, just to give you an idea of this, if if any of you are near like some, like a school auction or some e-waste places, or sometimes just even pawn shops will sell really old computers or stuff like that. If you ever take like a piece of RAM that is either bad or just not worth keeping anywhere, like 256 megs, just take it in your hands lengthwise and put your hands on both sides of it and try to bend it. Don't try to snap it in half like short, like the easy way. Like try to bend it the long way. PCB is really hard to bend. This is an entire GPU with a PCB somewhere buried in the middle, plus a metal heat sink. They did get down on the, uh, you know, on the fins in the best possible way, but still, like it's still a block of metal and whatever the shielding's made out of on the this one. I don't know what model it is. It's, it's an RT, it, they're chunky, okay? <sighs> accidentally left my iPad in my school bag unprotected. Oh no. Oh, that's actually really surprising. This also looks like an iPad mini and I can't tell. I really want an iPad mini just for the form factor. I don't really have a use for it. I just really like the size. It's just like a really satisfying size. Average Walmart experience. Yeah, I, I, I will say it's gotten better with COVID because less people, that's not Walmart, I'm sorry. Is that Walmart? No, this is Best Buy. This is Best Buy because they have the little glass things. Sorry, I didn't mean to be picky. It might be Walmart. It might be a really fancy Walmart. DVD drive decided to explode a disc. <laughs> yeah, freedom. Good Lord almighty. Was this one of those 52X ones? I think there were 52X DVD RWs or something. They'd spin up and they sounded like they were going to just exit our existence. I saw one of them in like a really, really old desktop and and just putting a CD in it. And you just wanted to back away. On a bus? On, on a bus? Oh, this is fascinating. Okay, so from just a very brief Google and poke around, uh, this is a VPE430 controller board. You can see that right in the middle. This is the IO board for uh, the fare collection toll things. Uh, some buses now have uh, no contact payment, so you can get on on all the doors and you tap your phone or you tap some sort of card or something like that. And uh, you get charged a fare or it verifies that you have like a monthly pass or whatever. But these things have to be built pretty rugged because they're going to be shaking around all the time. As you can see, it's in a gasketed, uh, you know, weather resistant case and stuff like that. But yeah, so cool. So I love seeing the inside of these things. Poke the big capacitors. Uh, yes, with your bare fingers, poke them very hard with scissors. Drink the juice from them. It will give 
of you healthy electrolytes. Great. Thanks for the suggestions. And we never heard from OP again. 230 volt connections without insulation in a metal pole. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, wow. Oh, that's... Oh, that's that's not supposed to be like that. I'm not an electrician like electric electrical stuff. Even the safest one the things I have been told are up to code always still look too dangerous to me. I'm like, no, it just seems like there should be more like between me and that. I am surprised there's nothing no more weatherproofing than that horizontal bar towards the top. But uh, and you know what? This is where my rule comes into place. It's not on fire and it's not in my house. Pro tip, don't buy $2 iPhone chargers off of AliExpress. Yeah, what in the, did it get stuck? Oh no, it melted. Oh, the plastic around it looks like liquid. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, just in general, AliExpress is fun for like a hoot. And sometimes there's there's some like weird smaller electronics emulators, uh, specific docks, sometimes some weird adapters that you can't easily get. But in general, anything that provides power, anything that's trying to look like something else, any sort of knockoffs, yeah, yeah. Any batteries, don't just don't just no no batteries. It's not a very good idea to run Minecraft on a motherboard with puffed capacitors. 148 Celsius. Really? I'm more impressed that you're running Minecraft on a motherboard uh, without a graphics card and with uh, one stick of RAM. It's a pretty tidy little AIO setup you got there. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, them them's ruptured. Don't lick this. Delivered two hours ago. Unreal, unreal turn. Oh, unreal broken phone. Looks like it's supposed to. Oh, it is supposed to fold. Oh wait, yeah, I thought this was like a tablet that got like smashed up in the mail. But no, is this one of the Z folds? Because I see the case like separates right there at the top. Oh my god, there's so much blowware. Oh my god, new guy, drive removal. Oh. <sighs> I, I, I never want to be that guy. Like, I always want to not make a stupid mistake. But I don't think I've made any mistakes that bad yet. I will one day. I'll make a mistake that looks that bad to somebody who knows what they're doing. But I usually just stop <laughs> and ask somebody else for help. Friend's new phone after a day. Aww. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm so aggressive when I get a new phone. It's like instant, you you go out of the case, screen protector, although I don't have one on here, and then straight into the case, and then I always get cases that have a lens cover on them so that it protects the, the camera, and you slide it open to take a picture, and then you close it, because I hate having like that sort of bloomy effect when you scratch your camera lens. What my friend somehow managed to do to his school Chromebook. <laughs> Poor Chromebooks, oh my god. How... <sighs> How? Why? 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 What were you doing in the vicinity of a laptop? Okay, a, a portable computer that you know is fragile. What were you doing in the vicinity of that that would have caused this level of damage? Because like this is beyond like, oh, well, they're fragile. Or oh, I just like gently leaned on it with my elbow because like, that would be a good idea. Like this is this took some force to get the screen off of the frame. Like what? What were you doing? My friend was like, why does the watch just the why does the what would it charge, huh? Oh, that's that's disgusting. Oh my when was the last oh gross. Oh, the underside of the band. Oh. Wash yourselves, people. And anything that touches your skin regularly. Dude, even just like a regular alcohol wipe. Like, you know, every month at at least on the back of your watch. <sighs> He said he never cleaned them. He had them for three years already. Oh, oh, that was for the watch. That was three years and he never, okay, okay, it's fine. That thing should be immediately taken into a bio lab to discover new species and considered a biohazard. Yes, both simultaneously and instantly. I have two of the same Huawei's with a lifting display. I mean, you bought a Huawei, I'm sorry. Can I super glue these together? If, if you want to alert the ATF, yes. Why would you soup? Both of them need a new battery. Like both of them have the same problem. This isn't like a donor phone thing. No, stop. Just came back from school and my PC monitor is broken. Hmm. 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 That's an impact. That's an impact. Something, something hit your screen. You still have the sticker on it too. Uh, yeah, I would check your siblings and your roommates and your family and anybody else that would add access to your room because something hit the display right at the right, right there, right at the top. A strip screw you never see before. Where is it? <laughs> I, just, I see like a ghost of a circle. How many times did you go at this thing? Please let it die or just drill it out. My temperature sensor, DHT11, overheated for five minutes and it welded itself to its cover. 
Okay, um, I don't think it overheated itself. I think you shorted it to power or something. Cause if it welded itself to its cover, it was giving off the heat. It was not detecting the heat. After 15 years of service, this TV finally died. Hey, 15 years is pretty, oh, 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 I died? What was this the special kind of dying where you fell out of a window onto some bullets? Because uh, this this doesn't look like the TV died so much as was indignated by something else. Rate my laptop setup. A uh, security risk because you're running Windows 7. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, two out of ten because of the security issues. Uh, and then uh, two points off for it being an HP. And another two points off for those stupid bumpy trackpads because I hate them and my sensory issues hate them and they make me nauseous. Negative two. My Apple Watch got shot while playing Airsoft. Oh. You can't say that around here. I, I'm I'm really set. Wow, man, I'm gonna have to be careful. I don't know Airsoft could do that to an Apple Watch. I figured it'd be a little more more durable. I have Airsoft and stuff in the basement, so like, uh, th 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 very possible for something to ricochet and hit my watch. I'm usually wearing eye protection, but I <laughs> did not think about just taking my watch off. I wondered why my CPU is overheating and shutting down my PC. I'm s I'm sorry. Were you cooking cables inside there? No, maybe. No, I can't. They're they're weirdly white right there. Also, it doesn't look like there's nearly enough thermal paste here, but it, it might be on the other side. But yeah, that. Power cable? Yeah, no, there's singe marks. Yeah, that power cable was under the CPU the entire time. Insects inside my flat screen. Oh, that's awful. Oh, that's so awful. And you can't just right click on them and hit delete. It, it doesn't work. I've tried. Oh my God, that's a huge one. What the hell is that? What the? No, no, thank you. I don't know what that is and I hate it. Oh, I guess the text is kind of small. Okay, all right. Maybe it's not as big as still. Mm, I hate it. God, I hate bugs. Slightly used laptop. <laughs> okay, that's that's just slightly used. That's that's just uh, 810 megabytes of what? That's not a, like a rand. That's such a random number. That's a joke post, but I want to buy it because I want to know like what happened to it. It looks like it got shot. That's really, it looks like this was target practice. Might've been for somebody out here. I slipped on ice yesterday and landed on my backpack. Oh, and my laptop was an unfortunate casualty. Time to do some shopping for either a new laptop or tech services. Oh, <laughs> even though you slipped and fell on the ice, I'm gonna blame Norton because Norton's right there and I hate Norton. User said they smelt burning. Well, as long as they don't smell it anymore. Uh, 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 the CPU won't be smelling anything. Or thinking ever again. This USB stick still works. I mean, this looks bad, but uh, I actually don't see any reason why it wouldn't. The the worst thing you would might have would be might have would have might have. Why I can English would be the broken PCB for the actual port. Sometimes the port is built into the PCB, and sometimes it's a separate little connector like this with the little super tiny cables. And in this case, that actually came to your advantage. And the rest of it's wrapped in tape. So yeah, you're, you're probably good to go for years. Oh, TF, does this Nokia still work? It's a Nokia. It's a, oh, hey, the button layout is the exact same as the, the one from the beginning. Camera placement's similar, but I don't, yeah, I need to see the back of it. Mild structural damage. <laughs> Okay, this is the this is the way I told you not to break the RAM. Don't break RAM. I didn't realize there was going to be so much hair. Is there an issue with my UMD? Like universal media? Oh, wow, yeah, no, you were not kidding. Uh, yes, the issue is that it is no longer a UMD. It is a very expensive Frisbee. Nah, take the popcorn off and it should be fine with your GameCube. <laughs> I've never actually put those side by side. I didn't have either because I had terrible wild parents. My tablet won't charge. I wonder what's wrong with it. Well, you've covered it in art or tape, probably tape, but I'm going to assume art because uh, that's all that you've cracked the back in half too. Uh, I, I was trying, I was trying so hard. Look what happened while playing Gorilla Tag. What the hell is Gorilla Tag? Look, I'm, I'm not gonna judge, but uh, this is a screen, a panel. Uh, these things are usually pretty fragile. Uh, I don't know what Gorilla Tag is, but, but it sounds not fragile. So I probably don't do it around a screen. Yeah. Finished my work early, so my teacher told me to fix this. Uh, uh, first off, you should invoice your teacher. Second off, just throw all of these out. They, they're not worth, they weren't worth the price they paid new. Uh, but also third, invoice your teacher for your time. Fire hazard. What in the, okay. USB-C adapter, grounded. 
open USB-C power brick, go into a 30 pin, broken screen, possibly swollen battery. Oh, the back's off. Is that the back to that phone or is that another phone? This is this feels like one of those I spy books, but it's all stuff that will kill you. That's the least of the problems I see here. Yeah, no, it just it just keeps getting worse. Why is all this on top of another PCB that's just exposed to the what? What is going on? This has to be like bait. She's been using it like this for six months. How? I always wondered, like, how how do you how do you do things? Because like, if you get a text or something, or like, or trying to read an email, and like a third of your like a quarter of your screen's blocked off, how do you read that? How do you like edit your photos? How do you do? You just not use your phone? Like, I can't even tell what what the first digit of the temperature is, unless it's only six degrees, in which case I'm so sorry, that's way too cold. But like, I can't tell the high and the low. Like, do you drag it over for everything? Just like, see the, some stuff you can't drag over? <sighs> Oh, this makes me so angry. Does anyone like to crochet? I've seen this so many times and I love it. Like, it's just, it's just so adorable. Is this even fixable anymore? P.S. Don't leave your phone unattended with toddlers. Uh, yeah. <laughs> your first mistake. Uh, but no, that's not. Uh, no, no. Uh, I would say a maybe if it weren't for the circular thing here, like this, this looks like battery swelling. But if you flip it on its side and you measure it across and it's completely flat all the way across, you might be able to get away with just a replacement screen. But you're running the risk of labor just to get in there and get the screen replaced to then find out that there are more problems. My friend's laptop. OK, I see the stickers, but I'm looking real closely here, looking for anything else because uh, it doesn't look that bad. OK, this might just be my vision acting up, but all I'm I'm seeing are the stickers being kind of funky and they're playing chess. I don't, I, 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 I got nothing. Sorry. My elevator is not doing so well. Now arriving at the <laughs> floor. I'd be nervous, honestly. Also, why is there only a down indicator? Makes me nervous. Get rid of your kids. Oh, oh kid, get rid of your kid's smartphone. <laughs> what? What is this? Are you, are you nailing explosive lithium batteries to a tree to, to damage technology on purpose to prove some sort of point? Like the this, man, this just makes you look like a piece of garbage. That's a way to put fire to a tree. I want to imagine a parent hammering one in, hitting the battery and exploding in their hand. Uh, not that I want the parent to get hurt. Oh, <clears throat> Uh, yes, of course. For moral reasons, I don't want them to get hurt. I'm sorry, I meant, uh, for legal reasons. Uh, for moral reasons, I do. Just to remember that batteries aren't meant to have holes in them. Also, you can just take a phone from somebody. You can also just disable the, their parental controls. There are so many other th ways to fix the issue you're trying to fix. You can talk to your kid. You can actually have interesting interactions with your kid. You can show interest in what they're doing. Huh? How about building an actual relationship they want to be part of more than the stuff on their phone? Instead of just being, oh, I don't have problems or because of this darn phone, I'm going to nail it to a tree and have it explode in my face. Have fun. Brother-in-law used a hammer to destroy the hard drive of his laptop. Ooh, ouch. And smashed up the battery in the process. The battery in the hard drive. Oh, he didn't take the hard drive out yet. Oh, okay. I'm understanding now. Uh, it's now very hot. <laughs> the whole house is on f on fire watch. Uh, do I take it outside? Uh, a concrete block with a bunch of sand in it, or just a sandbox if you got that around. Try to try to get into the sand. Sand will just melt. Dude, the screws are right there. The screws are right there. It is not that hard to remove the hard drive. Also, you don't go after it with a hammer. You open the seal and you pour s some water in, or if it's an SSD, you just snap it. Lord have mercy, people just savages. Maybe your brother-in-law uh, should have gotten toasted when he hit that battery. All right, I'm not. I'm not uh, as as vengeful on this one. What a fracking. Yeah, no, you could have taken out the hard drive and used the laptop for something else. Put in a new one. Oh, God. People are so wasteful. Ticket says, machine doesn't turn on. What in the... What? 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 <laughs> I don't even know what I'm looking at. Genuinely, I don't know. Is that is that a capacitor leaking? These are solid state capacitors. Uh, why is it going in that direction? No, it's coming from here. I've seen this in one other thing from tech support core, and I genuinely don't know what this phenomenon is. If it was magic battery dust, it'd be everywhere, I assume, unless it's coming from somewhere else. I don't know. I'm genuinely curious as to what this is. My dad's computer woke up today like this. No idea how it happened. <laughs> the orb has visited you. Uh, I'm not sure if you're talking about the white line or the black spot. Uh, the white line is usually caused by a cracked control circuit for that like vertical line of, uh, of pixels, but it stops like there. The black is most likely an impact. So uh, yeah, set a chair on top of it or something like that, or got uh, set something hot on top of it. Yeah, that'll do. Or if you have a pet, could it paw print from a, a, a very heavy cat. 